YouTubers, welcome to another one of my vi YouTube video installments. Today I'm discussing the recent tragic passing of Moaz al Kasasbe, who died back in January of this year. Now, for those of you who haven't followed the story, Moaz al Kasasbe was supporting the U.S. led coalition against ISIS back in December of last year. The situation that has been going on lately is that there was supposed to be an exchange of hostages between ISIS and Jordan. Now unfortunately that will not happen. The reason is that the hostage that Jordan wanted from ISIS is dead. It's been recently reported how Moaz al Qasasbet's death happen and what methods ISIS used against him. The method that they used to kill Moaz al Qasasbe is trap him inside a cage and later on engulf it in flames. Now this is very sad and I'm actually very surprised that he, Moaz al Qasasbe was killed back in January. I thought that they at least could save this one because Kenji Soto was killed, and he was one of the journalists that was captured by ISIS militants. Now, it's created an outrage where everyone in Jordan is basically upset. The Jordanians want the hostage that they had in their possession that they were willing to exchange with ISIS. Now, that individual who they had in their possession, the Jordanians want that individual dead. That person is called Sajida al Rushawi, someone that the ISIS militants wanted to have in their possession, and clearly they decided not to go along with it. So the Jordanians now want her dead and three other convicted militants as well which those are anonymous to me so I don't have a clue who they are as separate individuals I can give you a little bit of history of who is Sha Sajida al Rishawi. now she is actually a former member of Al Qaeda and she was a failed suicide bomber that actually killed 60 people back in 2005. She killed these people and they have had her in their possession ever since. So she's been in jail for 10 years now. And it's basically based on the attacks that she perpetuated in Amma which is the capital of Jordan. Because they weren't able to save Kasaspe, it's come to the attention that Jordan must take retribution and make ISIS pay for their actions. King Abdullah is actually decided to visit Joe Biden and reinforce his ironclad support from the US so that now Jordan has a little bit of support in case they decide to go after ISIS now what do you guys think honestly my sincerest condolences go to the family this is probably a very sad moment for all of them and they are mourning just as much as other families have been mourning last year due to all the deaths that took place. Before leaving, please guys, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, I would highly appreciate it, and give me your comment of what you think of this situation. Until next time.